Hello everyone! Welcome to first ever 7 Dot Studio YouTube Hop. If I am your first stop today, please hop along the list you can see in the description box below. If I am not the first one, uh, please remember to hop to all the YouTube channels, leave comments everywhere and subscribe to each channel. If you do so, you will be eligible to win the prizes. And the prizes are described at 7 Dot Studio YouTube channel. Our hop will end at midnight on December 31st. The winners will be announced in the first week of a new year. So remember to visit all the channels of our talented design team, to subscribe, to comment and most of all to have fun. My project is cards, Christmas cards. I decided to choose different color scheme and uh, I used violet and green. So, I didn't use a typical Christmas collection. Uh, I used Garden Party. Garden Party is uh, absolutely not Christmas kind collection. But, as you will see at the end of my video, you can make Christmas cards even using such line. I checked the dimensions of my bases so I could cut um, exactly matching pieces of paper. Now you can see I'm using a Finavar stencil, one of the new stencils, um, and uh, icing pastes. Icing pastes are also a very new product, uh, they are very thick and you can apply them through stencils and the um, final effect is really great. Uh, I have used amethyst, so very violet color. The name of the stencil is Frosted Berries, as, and as you can see later, um, the shape is like frosted berries, so it matches perfectly the wintery uh, scene and wintery theme. If you don't want to smear everything, you have to carefully lift the stencil. As you can see, I have several cards, so I had to repeat all the steps on the second batch of my cards. This is the way I create background. I apply several media, but I do not start with new one before I dry the current one. Everything has dried and now you can see how beautifully it shines. Here you can see leftovers from papers that I used at the beginning. I took Martha Stewart punch that has been hidden deep in one of my drawers and I decided to give it a go. Pine branches are perfect for Christmas cards. These paper cut branches will be very useful to add interest and dimension. In Soulmates collection, one of the older lines, there were beautiful flourishes that you can see now. I'm a kind of hoarder, like most of scrapbookers, so I have quite many of them. These flourishes will fit here perfectly. 7 Dot Studio chipboard pieces work great with most media. I have used Lindy Stamp Gang spray to add a color to them. If you watched some of my previous videos, you surely noticed that I use a craft mat. It helps me to keep my working space clean, but also it helps me to use all media more efficiently. As you can see, I used the chipboard pieces like a sponge, so they could absorb more color from the mat. Now we can start to assemble everything. I use Polish magic glue that I love and I hate at the same time. I love it because it dries pretty fast and it's totally clear when it dries. And I hate it because the tubes break and it could ruin your day. I suppose everyone loves Prima Marketing paper flowers. I glue them down using hot glue gun. You have to be really careful not to hurt yourself. Hot glue can cause serious burns. But the good thing is, it dries almost immediately and creates a really strong bond.
Now you can see flat paper flowers from Prima Marketing that I used to create additional layer under three-dimensional flowers. The reason behind is to create more interesting background full of different elements, layers, colors. The final effect will be more beautiful card. Speaking of glue, I have to admit that even though it's really great, it often causes problems with applying it through that precise ending. Now you can see Frank Garcia memory hardware pearls. I use them, but I usually give them color matching the rest of my project. I glue them down using Finovar heavy body gel. It's very, very thick and works perfectly with big, heavy or three-dimensional elements. I gather them into clusters and it is essential to wait until heavy body gel dries completely. Once it dries, everything will be firmly held together. Finavar Mechanicals in the shape of the stars are totally fab addition to any Christmas and also non-Christmas themed projects. I use a smaller or larger star, it really doesn't matter what size you choose. The thing that matters is that stars add Christmas spirit. Maybe for now the colors of all elements look a bit odd, but later we will harmonize everything using paints and waxes. Now it's a great moment to take Finavar white gesso that is really thick and covers everything perfectly. Why do we do that? Because we need to prime pairs so the other media adhere better. When we do it, we have to wait until gesso dries completely. We always should wait enough time so all the layers dry well before applying the next one. Icing paste, one of the new products from Finavar. I use Amethyst Magic Color that fits perfectly my chosen color scheme. As I mentioned, I wanted to create unconventional Christmas cards. I added it here and there, but we can keep in mind that a thin layer of icing paste is not opaque, so I used also impasto paint that gives full coverage. You can find the full list of supplies I used at the end of my video. I painted all pearls with heather impasto paint. It will not be a finishing touch, you can see it in a few moments. Using knotty paper from Garden Party Collection, I cut out little branches that I will put around three-dimensional flowers. Gauze can be a perfect material for crafty people. You can distress it, color it and it always gives fabulous dimension to any project. For a few moments you can observe what I'm doing with gauze and twigs. I took a look at my cards and I decided they are not frosty enough. The bright side of working with media is that you can change your mind in the middle of your creative process. 
or you can fix something that you don't like. So I used gesso diluted with water to whiten background of my cards and that way to create more frosty feel. To be honest, I never plan how my project look before I start. I just go with the flow. Here you can see Finavar art stones and mini art stones. They are perfect addition because of their size and being very light. Stones vary in size and shape. You can mix regular art stones with mini or mega art stones to create interesting effect on a background. Snowflake paste is a cherry on the top for my frosty cards. When it dries, it creates perfect effect of frosty snow. It shimmers and glitters. Finavar Art Alchemy Metallic Waxes can be applied with brushes or with your fingers. If you use a brush, you can reach deeper and that way you can cover even hard to get places. But if your goal is to cover only the surface, it's better to use your finger. When wax is dry, it's permanent. Last but not least are 7 Dot Studio word stickers from Ulatite collection. I do love word stickers. I can always find perfect phrase for my projects because I have word stickers from each 7 Dot Studio collection. I hope you liked my video tutorial and you feel inspired by 7 Dot Studio products. Please remember that link to next stop in 7 Dot Studio Christmas YouTube Hub is in the description box below. Please remember to subscribe and comment on each hop stop. Thank you for being here with me and one more information. In first New Year's week I will randomly choose one person that commented below and I will send that person one of these cards. Thank you and see you soon, bye!